All right, guys, Crypto Millennial here. So a few days ago, MetaMask released a beta for their new DAP portfolio. This is big news in the portfolio space and is something that highlights MetaMask strategy and vision for Web3. What we're going to do in this video is have a quick read through the announcement. I'm going to pick out the important parts and then we're going to have a play around with this ourselves and I'll share some thoughts on it and yeah, we'll just kind of see what it's like to use it. Let's get stuck into it. So they put this announcement out a few days ago on Twitter. What we're going to do is have a look now at exactly what they're saying in the blog. So MetaMask launching the beta portfolio and what they're saying is this is going to deliver an improved web free experience. Okay, fair enough. They want you to be able to view your assets in one place. And to me, this shows that as well as, you know, using MetaMask to transact in Web3, Mint NFTs, all of that, they want you to be able to also use their tool to be able to track your portfolio, your NFTs, DeFi activity, that sort of stuff. So I think it's a good move. It makes sense because they want to keep you in that MetaMask ecosystem so i completely understand why they're doing it and it's something that i see a gap in the market for because at the moment you kind of have to rely on third party providers for that high level what you're going to be able to do is link multiple accounts so with the portfolio dap you're going to be able to see exactly how much you own of specific tokens this is going to be available on multiple networks that's really important because the future is cross-chain the portfolio dap supports eth optimism finance smart chain polygon phantom arbitrum and avalanche so a mixture of l1s and l2s there and you can connect as many accounts as you want and see whatever assets you hold across all of those chains in one place and they're saying also that more networks are coming soon so that's pretty interesting they also want to deliver a richer nft experience and you're going to be able to see and view them in the portfolio dap so we'll have a look at that shortly i'll be interested to see whether there's any prices yet on that whether you can view the cost basis because this is something that's really needed but we'll have a look and then finally this part just summarizes exactly what metamask wants to deliver so they want to create the portfolio view one-stop shop for everything crypto related connect multiple accounts aggregate your assets across different chains look at nfts view multi-chain assets and then search and watch tokens so you'll be able to have that feature in there like what coin market cap and coin gecko offer okay so it's available to extension and mobile users and their official link is portfolio.metamask.io so i'm going to click on this shortly but first of course please make sure if you're going to go and do this that you're clicking on the official link if you click on some link on twitter and it asks you to enter your seed phrase then obviously that's a phishing link and a scam so please don't do that make sure you're using the official link i know it's straightforward to many of you but i'm sure someone will fall victim to one of these scams so it's always good to be extra careful anyway this is the official link so we're going to click on it here and it's going to bring us up this page so you can connect with metamask or you can pop in a wallet yourself so i'm going to just paste in a wallet here import and it's just going to load and bring up the portfolio for me so it's already finished at the top there and it's calculated the net worth we click up the top here we can see the different networks you can deselect ones that you don't want in this specific wallet then we can see that there's some eth and some avalanche and then on the front page it's breaking down the net worth 80 dollars that's how it's split pretty straightforward initial thoughts that looks really quite clean and of course you've got to toggle it to dark mode because that's crypto 101 right then we go onto the watch list this is similar to like coin gecko where you can search for a token so let's just say i wanted to add quant to my watch list and add avalanche i could pop those there and you can see the market cap the returns you've got an option here as well to toggle your popular currency so i'll change that to gbp going to go back onto portfolio then and we can see that the net worth's been adjusted still got our tokens here in list view you can condense that to high level account view so you could add multiple accounts up here and deselect any ones that you didn't want to see or you could watch specific accounts if you were really trying to track what they were doing what coins that they were buying nfts they were buying that's pretty cool what we're going to do next then is look at this nft part and see what that does 
this wallet owns 24 NFTs and you can see the network. If I bring this up, does it change? No. So it says down here the network that they're on. Potentially some of these are just scams that get airdropped. So some Polygon NFTs, some ETH ones here, Avalanche, quite a clean interface to be honest i like it what i have noticed is the net worth hasn't updated so that's still the original net worth based on the token so it's not taking into account the nfts obviously this is only beta so maybe that's something they're looking at in the future because i definitely think there's a lot of opportunity for an nft portfolio tracker especially one that's really advanced looks at traits rather than just floor prices so be interesting to see whether that becomes useful for nfts in the future i think then that's the main features really of the portfolio beta at the moment so yeah why not give it a try yourself it's obviously only beta at the moment so there's going to be stuff added in the future because they've already told us that in the article what i am also interested in is how they move forward with this because it's clear that portfolio management is what they want to target and providing you a one-stop shop there's always been this talk of the metamask token perhaps in the future they're going to use that in conjunction with the portfolio tracker to add utility to it i don't know maybe by using the portfolio tracker you'll gain those tokens who knows but i'm just kind of thinking will that metamask token if it ever drops tie into this maybe in the future they're planning for this to be a paid feature but you have to use tokens who knows i'm obviously only speculating but for now it's free i think you know they've done a really good job of creating something quite visual for your portfolio but a few more tweaks for that to be really accurate and to add quite a lot of value with all that said i think we've had a good look through this new dap from metamask i think it's quite clean and yeah i'm going to draw the video to a conclusion now i hope you enjoyed it and this is useful obviously there is instructions from metamask how to carry this out as well but i haven't seen a lot of people on my timeline anyway talking about it so it seems it's largely gone under the radar and I just thought why not talk about it bring it to you guys because I think it's interesting so yeah I haven't created any videos in a while but it's been good to get back and create something hope you enjoyed speak to you soon